what up, YouTube? This is your boy Sherry Speech. Right now, we're, we're, right now I'm watching The Flash, Season 4, Episode 19, Fury Rogue. And obviously, you know, Wells wants to, you know, increase his, capacity, his brain capacity. But unfortunately, Gideon, like, he's telling him, like, listen, you can't do that. You should receive some extensive and possibly permanent damage to your brain. Because we saw, like, he was a little dazed and confused last week. In other words, he's, he's losing his intelligence. He may have to relearn everything he's ever known. So, so the dark matter from the thinking cap caused this, obviously. But he can't reverse it. Everything he knows is gone. And that's, that's going to be terrible, man. Because aside from Cisco and Caitlin, he's the next best thing. Uh, now we see um, Barry and Iris at you know their therapy session right now discussing Rolf's death. You know Iris started to see how good of a good guy Rolf was, and he became a good person. Fine. You know Barry's working through it. As close to as Ralph as Iris was, you know, he said, Yeah, they did stuff together, they did a lot of stuff together, obviously. As are you fine with this? I've dealt with a lot of death in my life, and mother, father, daddy, Ronnie, HR. Has Ralph's death had any impact on you? know how to cope with it, deal with it, so it doesn't affect me as much as it once did. Okay, that makes a lot of sense, because, you know, I deal with that kind of the same way a little bit. So next week, well, before we meet him, Barry, practice makes perfect. Hmm, I wonder what that could mean. Because, you know, Rob's death is still kind of hitting everybody. I just feel bad for Harry right now, you know, because he's not, he has to relearn everything he's ever learned. I think this is kind of ties into the comics a little bit, I guess. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, we're back. So sorry about that. The live stream was lagging pretty bad. But here we are. We see Caitlin talking to Leo about her losing her little alter ego, Killer Frost. Pretty much telling her, like, listen, she'll never be gone. Now it's pocket dimension activity, and now everyone's up in the air right now. Holy shit, it's the Thinker. Now, mind you, they're trying to escort a dangerous meta out of Central City. So, for this to happen, it's pretty damn bad. Oh, look, the radioactive guy. Now, mind you, he, the Thinker just used the dark matter, he, the Flash's power dark, dark matter, to escort them out of that vicinity to, so then they could take the rest. I take them fall out. Uh, it came out of will. If not here, then I'll go some other way. <laughs> about doing this. Oh! Uh, but he uses Rolf's powers, of course. Well, that de-escalated quickly. There's a new body of mine. What gift is to give me provided? Well, that's a gift of matter speaking. Why 
Watch me so much turmoil in your mind, Mr. Allen. Allow me to ease your pain. Hey, wait, Black Siren. Well, hey, hey, hey. That was weird. Now Fallout wants to leave. I hope you guys remember this from me all carefully. I don't have to lose my voice. This truck is now mine. What the hell is she doing here? Okay. Alright guys, we're back. So they're all back and they're wondering. Alright, so like, are you sure you're okay? I'm just a little worried. Because you gotta jump on you guys. Man. Just come off guard. You ain't no joke either. Huh? Just go. Do you see if Harry has any ideas? Video? Exactly, I've done. This is a, this is a typical daily combat conversation. Leonard, now go talk to me. <sighs> okay. Okay, so Cisco has figured out and the suspicion of. I don't know what's going on with you, but you're not going to help me. I'm not gonna... So, Harry just broke the cap. Why would you do that? To protect you. So now Harry shows what the cap did to him. And Dark Matter. I mean, I, I mean, I sympathize with with Harry, you know, but at the same time, I'm like, yo, bro, you just fried your complete synapses. For those that don't know, synapses are the things that connect information that keeps the information flowing through our brains. And this has me speaking right now. Synapses are firing and instant information from my brain to my mouth for me to speak these words that I'm saying right now. But in, in that case, Harry fried all of them, fried all of his that we all know of. And now my the stream's lagging once again. Come on. I'm just refreshing the stream right now because it's lagging again. Uh, I was just trying to figure out, okay, how is Barry dealing with uh, Ralph's death? You know, things of that nature. And that's why I'm wondering too, because I mean, I'm going out to a bit of a grieving period, because even uh, the therapist said, look, Barry, you have a very complex emotion that, that sees its way out, you know, it's, there, there is no practice that makes perfect in, in the terms of grief. So now they're wondering, okay, how can they help stop this new meta? They decided to go to Earth X, where we see Citizen Cold, aka Leonard's Leo Snart. It looks like he's looking for somebody. You know, it's really nice to see that he's the hero, you know, Leo Snart is at least. But it looks like he's looking for. Siren X, you know, then the 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 black siren we saw in Earth X, the crisis on Earth X, and she blows him away with her siren, with her call. Holy crap! Hope they can save him. That's all I really can say. Furthermore, just terms of turning out, it comes to find out that they need Citizen Cold because you know, obviously, he's pretty much the uh, I guess you could say the alternative to not having Killer Kayla not having Killer Frost powers to shut down Fallout, and to keep him away from development, which I think is a great idea, idea you know, because he's trying to gound up all this damn power to take out Team Flash, or to pretty much just destroy the damn world for that for that matter. So it'll be nice to see how he's an asset, but then also I feel like Barry should watch out, because as we as Barry was running away, making a portal back to Earth-1, Cyber and X came through the portal, so now they're going to have their hands full. Leo Snart is out, out the box when it comes to DeVoe, you know, he's never met 
uh, Leo Snart before. He's never even met, I'm not even sure he's even met Leonard Snart, obviously. So this is a really out-of-the-box kind of plan for Team Flash, but I, that I think will honestly work for their, in their favor. I think it will honestly will. Like I said, you know, like they said as well, he's out of the box. He's the perfect alternative for this. And they're going to need that cold gun to shut down Fallout. Since he uses radioactive powers and things of that nature, it'll work out just fine. You know, Citizen Cold really just hit the nail on the head for Barry. He said, Barry, do you know how many times, you know how many men I've, we've, so we've lost fighting those those, uh, those bastards over there on Earth X? 12,000, over 12,000, and over 3,000 were on my watch. And he mourned every single last one of them. Mind you, you know, just to, as he said as well, you know, you tamed Mark, you know, you trained Ralph, you tamed him, you know, you tried to make him the best hero he could be. And, and yet, you have never, you haven't grieved his loss yet. I grieve, and that happened years ago. I lost those guys years ago, but yet, I still mourn them every single day. And I've realized in order to have my mind clear and everything of that nature, I had to grieve them. And I think that's what you should do. And I feel like that's what Barry should do as well. I mean, he has to do that for the sake of himself. You know, and I've learned that the hard way as well. Like I said before, I'm going through a grieving period before. I'm sorry, I've gone through a, a grieving period before where I didn't grieve at all. I just I was like, okay, well, shit, you know, it happened. You know, and then all of a sudden out of nowhere, I, it hit me out of nowhere and I just grieved, you know. You know, and that happened to me recently, you know, I lost a really good friend of mine. And for the longest time, I really didn't grieve until about a few weeks ago, you know, that she was gone. So, yeah, Citizen Code is definitely in the nail on the head. Barry should definitely grieve, you know, and so that way I can clear his mind and, you know, just think about everything. Because I feel like DeVos about to hit him with something he didn't expect. A clever-ass trick on Sirenex's power. She literally transcended the call that, she, that Team Flash was speaking and gave her the relayed, relayed the information back to herself and possibly back to Devo. And I guess you could say Siren X is Devo's little trump card, his own little alternative, if you if you will, from the looks of it. Now, you know, even Citizen Cold said, "Look, Barry, I'll do what I can to help you move this meta uh, human bomb." You know, even Iris just said, "Okay, Volad's already at from Tracy's lab. They're ready to get him to keep. They're ready to go to Keystone and retrieve the bomb." You know. And so they wanted to make sure every, that Barry was good. He said, yeah, I'm good. Even Citizen Code was like, look, I want to make sure that, you know, your head's on head, head's on straight because they're ready to go to war, you know. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, my goodness. And Leo Snark does it again. He said, look, they were going over the plan, you know, to say to make sure Leo was all right, ready to make sure they were getting him to Argus on time. And Citizen Code was like, look, Barry, you know, you, know, you gave a really good speech. You know, Barry saying, look, you know, this is... I know we the bow hit us pretty hard, but let's focus on you know taking something from him. So then that would that that, der that derails his plan, you know. And then Citizen Cole's like, you know, and I'll be here to make sure everyone's head is on a swivel, even yours, Barry. You know, Barry's like, well, I know what, what that one was for. He said, look, Barry, if you don't confront your feelings, then they will confront you. And boy, is that true. New little update: Siren X, as Leo's calling her, which I think is kind of cool. <laughs> the reason why they're hunting after the reason why she's hunting Leo and company is because she still hasn't gotten over the fact of that Dark Arrow and, and company have been killed and she wants to go out to people that are responsible. So that's why she's here. That's why she's hunting Leo, which all makes the sense. But also, Barry could not find Neil, Joe, or Caitlin. The hazmat suit that Neil has, you know, blocks his radiation signature so Barry can't find him. And things of that nature. So, he's screwed. But even, like I mentioned before, for Devo to get in Barry's head like that and say, you know, you know, I mean, this is a this is a pretty nice, handy uh, gift that Mr. Dibney has gotten me. Well, metaphorically speaking. Right, rookie? You know, and we just saw the paint hit Barry. Just as Sisson Code said, you know, if you don't confront your pain, you know, your, pain, your pain's going to confront you. You know, or something of that variation, and it did. It hit him like a ton of bricks, and he just went limp. You know, he, he dropped, and it, it just went all bad, man. So, Barry, you need to confront your damn feelings, bro. Hurry up. Because things are getting really, oh, crap. While in the so now, so while in the time, well, since going, Harry are having it out. Harry is finally coming to, he's finally confronting his feelings, 
and by saying, look, I'm about to lose the very asset to this very team that that makes me valuable to this team, you know. I'm supposed to be smarter than every other villain that, that you know, comes up against this team. And I'm, and, I'm about, and I'm about to lose that in a matter of minutes. Who am I without my intellect? It's pretty much what Harry is, is pondering. Who am I without my genius level IQ? Who, who am I? You know, because without my intelligence, like, what am I even of use for? You know, because even he said, look, your vibe, Alan's the Flash. You know, and intellect is all I have. I'm supposed to be smarter than all you guys and the villains. So what do I have if that's all gone? And this is getting real. I'm telling you, man. Harry, you're way, 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 way much more than just an uh, intellectual geeky guy, honestly. Wait, wait a second here. Wait a second. DeVoe is wrong. He miscalculated. It turns out Barry was actually supposed to defeat Siren X, but he just stood there frozen because he thought of the grief. His grief got to the best of him at the nick of time, and DeVoe is tripping because of that. He's never wrong. Well, stop trying to this motherfucker. It had to happen to you, and now he is just pissed. He is livid. He can't believe it. Damn, Marlies just fucking told him. He just said, look, you mean to tell me you can calculate all of these different damn possible events across the multiverse, but you can't even calculate how someone is feeling? Mmm. That had to whoop his ass the big time for that one. Pretty much, Leo's like, look, bro, you gotta explain to me before I get the fuck up out of here, why the hell did you freeze up out there? Barry's like trying to avoid it. Like, I don't have time for this. I just need to focus on leading my team. He said, yeah, you're going to lead them to your to the certain death. I mean, you, when you were out there, you froze like a, like a damn duck in ice. You know, and you, you know, you let two of your teammates escape and you almost got my ass killed. So, where, so what the hell, what the hell happened out there? Was it Rolf's death that got you? You know, and, Rob, and Barry's like, look, I don't have time to even. Leo's like, make time. You know, he said, I can't, not, not Ralph. And so, Leo's like, oh, so Ralph is different, but, but, so something about him is what, what is, something about his death, you know, that's different than all the other ones that you've experienced, but why is that? You don't want to grieve Ralph. I wonder why that is, Barry. Why is that? Dude, that is dope. How they're doing that right now. <laughs> There's so, Siren X took, them, took Neil to the CCPD to pretty much destroy all the remaining officers of the CCPD to pretty much to have everyone else relate to her pain of, of, of losing her regime. You know, and Barry swept in there with Sis and Cold, Caitlin and Iris. Well, well no, 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 I'm sorry. Just Caitlin and Sis and Cold to freeze Neil so that now he wouldn't explode. But his rads are clowning exponentially quick, extremely quick. And uh, they need to hurry up and freeze him before it's too damn late. I don't know what the hell's gonna happen now. I well, guess we'll have to see. We see Barry just having flashbacks of when him and Ralph are getting together. And I feel like this is when Ralph is. I think this is when Barry's gonna accept, you know, losing Ralph. This is the way he's grieving. And even Leo's like, well, Barry, you gotta give up. You know, you have to grieve. You know, you gotta get up and just fight again. Come on, Barry, get up. You know, and I think that's what Leo's telling him. Because it's. <laughs> Siren is screaming her damn head off. He's almost at 10,000 rads. This is crazy, son. This is... Cr he said, remember, you already saved me. And I think Barry greeted Ralph, and I think he's up and wrong moving now. Oh, the face. Oh, it's always great. So he just knocked the hell out of Siren X really quick. Now you gotta hurry up and freeze him double time. And double team by Citizen Cold and Caitlin Snow. Pun intended. <laughs> cool down, Neil. Kill cool down. His real name is his name is Neil Borman. You should call you should call him Neil Coldman. Man, this is crazy. But he's back to normal now. They stopped him. Thank goodness. So does that mean everyone else is going to be done now? The ones that were hit by the radiation? 
You know, right now we see Barry just grieving Ralph right now. I mean, he's gonna need that. All right, so now Kaylin's looking at her test results, and holy shit, she can get Killer Frost back. It reminds him, listen, you're not losing the most valuable part of us. Like, your intellect is not the most valuable part of this team. The fact that you raised a daughter who learned quadratic equations at five years old from her mathesized father, who became a superhero, a speedster, a scientist, that's the biggest part of you. Jesse Quick being your daughter, that's the greatest value you have to this team. So that was good for him. Okay, so Marlies is like, okay. So it looks, turns out, DeVoe knew exactly where Neil was going to end up. He knew he was going to end up in, a, in another black site in Argus. You know, because we saw Neil on the beach, you know, relaxing. He seemed to be in a really nice, tame environment. But DeVoe said, look, interesting guy, I really thought I was going to be in some case of doubt. You know, and it turns out, you know, those little things that keep Mr. Allen, you know, I guess you could say, keeping on with the fight, you know, his emotions, that's always going to end up being his downfall. So I feel like we should just shut our emotions off so we can finish our job. And Riley just says, yes, I'm realizing that more than ever now. And she turned away from the vote. You can see the tears coming down on her face, which makes me realize her her reactivating her emotion is going to break her from that little love spell that, that DeVoe put her on. I think even DeVoe himself started to get a little bit tired of Marlies being all lovey-dovey. So, we'll see what happens, man. But this is your boy Speaks. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment what you guys think about this video in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any suggestions of what you want me to react or review to, let me know in the comment section below. And I love you guys. God bless.